Hello, everyone. This is Kevin Johnson of Leverage Consulting bringing you the Organizational Excellence Podcast. I know many of you listening to this are headed out to a national event this week, but the concept that I wanted to talk to all of you about today was about how to get the most out of a continuing education event, a training event, a mastermind session, anything of the like, where you're going there to learn things, pick up pearls, and just learn things that you can bring back to your practice, your business, and make it better than what it was last week. And funny enough, over the years, I've listened to doctors, business owners, and different and managers, staff members who have basically given the same kind of feedback. We go to the session, we get fired up at the session, and after two weeks, it's pretty much back to the same old, same old. So I have three things that you could do to improve the takeaways and ensure that you have a long-term sustainable change that you bring into the practice or even a number of changes that you bring back. Because you might have gone to this event, you may have figured out, okay, I'm implementing this new software. I'm going to pick up the XNAV. I'm going to implement the new Trefoil system. I'm going to, it could be any number of systems, any number of purchases you might be making. But those, those purchases or those changes that you're thinking about involve more than just you. And you were there, you were the one that got fired up, but you have an entire group of people back at the office that they weren't there. They didn't hear all that. So here are the three things that you can do to get the most out of that session and implement the most. And again, put these things in place to where you have a sustained change. So first thing is make time for the changes, make time to explain the changes, and make time to answer questions because essentially you want your team at a point where they understand what you understood when you walked out of that session and they understand their role in the changes that are coming forth. They need to understand what their role is in, in putting the, this new system in place. They have to know how this relates to the patients. They have to know how this relates to their, their individual day, how this relates to other team members in the practice. So, the second thing is you need to involve the key team members. So even though you bring back the great idea, you may not be the one that can be solely responsible for making it happen, depending on your role, especially if you're the surgeon in the practice, if you're the doctor in the practice, you don't have time to make all the changes. So we have to involve the manager. We may have to involve senior staff members. We may have to involve other key team members in the practice. So we have to involve them in the process of getting trained, training others, getting questions answered, and quite honestly, doing the problem solving after the fact. And then the third is you may need an accountability partner or some kind of expert that you bring in. So whether you heard a concept at the, at the meeting, if you heard a speaker bring something up, if you bought a piece of equipment, bring in an accountability partner or some kind of expert. And yes, that could mean someone like myself, but it may also be the software company and bringing in their trainer because in the end, you're all very smart people. And yes, you could figure it out. But the question is, do you want to take six months to figure out the same thing that someone could have brought you the same point within a week or two, even a month? So time is money. And implementing something like this, time is also of the essence because do it while you're fired up. Do it when you have the most amount of motivation. Bring that expert in and help them or get them to help you make those changes. So there's your three tips. Make time for the change, explain the change, and getting your team involved and get an accountability partner or an expert in there to help you. So there's your Organizational Excellence Podcast. I'm looking forward to talking to you again soon.